We have by far the largest in Korea and one of the biggest in Southeast Asia. So fundamentally with design in the IB program, design is about finding problems, researching and understanding those problems, coming up with solutions to those problems and then actually creating the solution in whatever form it would be to test and evaluate whether our solution has actually solved this problem that we set out to solve. One of the, the big problems that the humans have is to produce more food using a small amount of space. So students are exploring the optimum way to grow food using an automated machine that they program. And that is the essence of the project. The students need to learn how to program and how to control an automated environment so that food can be grown in the shortest amount of time with the most amount of produce. So the essence of smart farming is to be able to grow food in a small area. It's well controlled. There's no pesticides. There's no chemicals. It's very clean. It's very healthy. The difference of the smart farm we are working on here and the smart farm kids that outside in the big world, I'd say the only difference is the scale of the projects outside in the farms. The center idea of this project is for students to learn how to program a software that has an effect on the world, that takes in information from sensors like heat, like humidity, like the moisture in the dirt. And when, once they have that, they have to enact certain things. It's, it's an ideal project for the students to actually eat their project after they finish growing it. Another thing we try to focus on is their self-management and time management, especially right now when we are not at school, we are in online learning. It's really important to manage your time and be able to plan all the steps on the, of your project yourself and be able to work on it based on your plan. This project is about to produce food, which is very important, especially in the situation with the COVID-19, where accessing food is really hard for some people. Online learning for digital design class is difficult because there are many things that I don't know about coding and it's my first time learning how to control the Arduino. That's a real challenge, but the interesting thing is that I can build my own greenhouse. Since my future dream is to be an engineer, I believe that this process would be um, a great process which helps me learn what exactly it is to be an engineer and how I could build a project independently and go through it. Um, while I was learning those kind of codings in computer science class and design class and like physics or other kind of science subjects, I was able to find myself really kind of interested in those fields. So I think I'll be related with technology in the future. While doing this project, I learned that we could automatically grow this no mattering how the external factors are. Another large idea here is that students need to really understand the problems when food becomes a problem. How can these worldwide problems be mitigated if not solved? And how would my students have a part to play in finding a solution to the central problem of growing enough food for everyone?